Northern Social Political Group, the Arewa Consultative Forum, has decried the spate of insecurity in the region, asking President Muhammad Buhari to rise to the challenge. The forum, in a communique signed by its National Publicity Secretary, Emmanuel Yahweh, after its National Executive Committee meeting held in Kaduna on Tuesday, said the call is simply to convey the anger and frustrations of many Northerners who voted President Muhammad Buhari into power. And for him to tackle the worsening insecurity in the North, which they note is getting too late. The SCF said it has noted with displeasure that the rising cases of kidnapping, bandit three, and many other security breaches in the region have become a source of worry to those who voted for a government that they thought will secure their lives and property as spelled out in the 1999 constitution. The forum also faulted the Minister of Police Affairs for saying that the activities of bandits have been degraded in the north, stating that there have been serial killings of more people in the north by bandits, contrary to the minister's statement. There have been serial killings of more people in the north by the bandits whom the minister of police claimed falsely have been defeated. Even as the minister was claiming falsely, whether in ignorance or deliberate victory over bandits, 12 police superintendents on official duty from Zamfara to Kano were overpowered by superior tactics and force while driving in a convoy and abducted with a heavy ransom demand on each policeman's family, Yahweh said. Apart from the bandits mounted four roadblocks, apart from, apart from the fact that the bandits mounted four roadblocks on Kaduna Abuja Road, whom the police have claimed severally that they have liberated from bandits. News reports by the media speaks of many dead and several others taken away by bandits for ransom. Nine students of French, nine French students at the Amadou Bello University Zaria on Tuesday, while on educational tour, were taken away and a whooping ransom of 270 million naira placed on their head. Three escaped with gunshot wounds. The police are now claiming they have been rescued given the level of distrust in our security and security forces we cannot vouch for what happened he said the northern elders forum says that the president muhammad buhari led government does not care about the people of the north their economy and security the director publicity and advocacy Northern Elders Forum, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, in a statement issued in Kaduna on Monday, made available to Daily Post, observed that the forum is deeply shocked by this administration. Although it is consistent with a registered record of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari to matters affecting people of the North. It is nonetheless an irrefutable evidence that this administration does not care about the people of the North, their economy or their security. The forum said it received information from those with responsibility for the reconstruction of the Abuja to Kaduna Zaria Kano Highway that work on this vital artery in the north 
would not be completed for the next five years. This project, involving 375 kilometers of the most strategic highway in the north and about the only link between the north and south, was awarded in 2017. And work commenced in 2018. The slow pace of the work and the consequent deterioration of the highway had made it the most dangerous highway in the nation and the most attractive to kidnappers who have resurfaced recently to compound routine losses of lives and billions in economic losses, the forum lamented. The forum said it had advised Nigerians, particularly fellow Northerners, not to trust President Buhari with another mandate in 2019 because Evidence garnered from his first term was strong over his indifference to and even disdain for our northern communities. The forum said the only thing that mattered to him were our votes. This administration has just sentenced northerners to another five years to live with many threats to life and economy on this important highway. In the meantime, the forum called on all citizens to, write, to raise their voices against the decision to continue to leave people who use this vital highway at the mercy of criminals and huge losses in lives and assets. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? We all know the... Or we all are getting to know or getting to be aware of the reports that are coming in from the various uh, parts of the country, especially the north, on how, you know, bandits, terrorists, Kidnappers, as it were, have taken over virtually all the roads and other parts of that particular region of the country. And the president, from the look of things, does not even have an answer to the problems. This is really, really saddening. This is really, really unfortunate. With the way and manner at which things are going, it does not look as if there's going to be hope or any remedy whatsoever or whichsoever on the activities of the bandits, terrorists, kidnappers, and all what have you that have taken over those region or that particular region as it were. The northern people are also crying out, calling on the president to take steps, do something, help them. Reach out to them in one way or the other. But it is sad and unfortunate that all their calls seem to be falling on deaf ears. It's as if there is no uh, positive outcome on all that is going to happen or all that is happening. But the challenge or the major challenge at the moment is the fact that all these things are happening in the northern part of the country where the president comes from. Even the governors seem to be helpless. The army have majority of their dominance in the north as at this particular time. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. But regardless, we are still recording huge activities of kidnappers, terrorism, bandits, and uh, various attacks on citizens this is really really sad and unfortunate this should not be uh, welcomed and it should not be tolerated only if we have leaders who could take responsibility or who could vacate office if things do not go the way they plan but no in this part of the world they don't 
leave office. They sit down there until they are dragged out. It is sad and unfortunate. Guys, what are your thoughts? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.